So my name's Tony and we live in Hayward's Heath and uh, the idea really was that we had a lot of space up at the top of the garden, all of which was covered by a hedge and um, we knew it was dead space and on the other hand in the house we had two problems. One, the office. I wanted to, I work from home and I wanted to work outside the house, not in it, because I was getting disturbed. And the other was that my daughter, bringing her friends back now, being a teenager, really wants to steal the lounge. So we had two demands really, an office and, and a lounge. This hedge was crazy, it was a lie land I completely out of control. They, it wasn't no longer a hedge, they turned into trees. They're about eight to nine metres high and the span uh, of the foliage was nearly five metres. It's unbelievable really. And so that was five metres in depth going across a garden of about, well the whole thing is about 14 to 15 metres. So it was a huge area that we couldn't use. So Paul and his team at Inside Out had already done a lot of work on our back garden, um, did a great job there, so it was just natural for us to go back to them. I was very careful on the first work to talk to a lot of builders. Paul and Inside Out really understood what the problems were. This time we did again consider looking at off-the-shelf builds, but when I talked to Paul, one I realised it was a very complicated build because the land sloped away by about a metre in two directions. Yeah, off the shelf builds often tend to be a lower specification than we wanted and on top of that they weren't interested in dealing with the problems of the land because it had to be levelled, we had to get a hedge got rid of, uh, the land renourished to plant new trees. They, they wanted us to go somewhere else and that would have meant working as a project manager with different firms inside out did the whole thing. I sat down with Paul at the start and discussed what I wanted. I, I, I think I had a pretty good idea. The design changed during the talks. We were going to have an L-shaped building, then we realised that would mean losing a certain tree and there were other issues. There was a cost issues we also discussed. Um, so I was very much involved. Um, Paul's got a great eye and they've got a great designer in John, but I was totally involved. I mean we got exactly what we wanted. We couldn't put as quite as big a hedge as we wanted to, which is going to take a year and a half to grow. Uh, we are a little bit overlooked, but that was a problem we understood having talked to Majestic, who provided the trees. Um, you had to bring in a very big machine to get bigger trees, so we understood that. Um, I wouldn't change anything. It, 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 I think it's better than I thought it was going to be. Basically, we had lost the garage. Um, during the first bit of work the garage was rotten and had asbestos in it as well so we needed some extra storage. Again because of the space is so big we decided to put a shed next to what we call the cabin just to give us that, 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 that sort of storage back. It's, it's, it's a nice build and, and on top of that pretty much disappears in the corner. I think the advantage of bespoke is you get exactly what you want. The danger of off the shelf is like I say you sort of find something that pretty much fits your vision, this time you have your vision and you get it exactly right. On top of that, and this is interesting I think, I felt that money, uh, the value for money of actually getting it bespoke is much higher because you can add certain specifications where you want to. And what we've now got is something you can absolutely live in. I've got friends who've got um, the alternative and I think they have a lot of compromises. Uh, the only thing that's hard about Pawnee's team to cope with is, is how much coffee they drink and also how enthusiastic they are. Um, they're, they're unbelievably good on attention to detail um, and they don't tend to give up on anything if there's an issue. Uh, they're just great. Pawnee's team are quite charming in their way because I sometimes actually find it difficult with our neighbours to discuss certain things. They're much better at it than I was. We're actually the ones who are overlooked, but I think it was a bit of a shock when this major hedge came down uh, for the neighbours. We'd warned them, they were happy about it, but when it came down it was a bit shocking how much they could see of our house. Um, but he explained it all and, and, and they understand there's a year and a half where it will look a bit bare from their side, um, but they've totally accepted it. I pretty much live there now. Um, the only bad thing I should say about our garden room is that my daughter, who was not interested in it, now loves it as well and so does my wife. And what I thought was going to be my garden refuge um, is now contested um, pretty much every evening as far as I can see. It's a fantastic finish. It's, it's, it's better than my house, which is a bit embarrassing really. Um, they take as much care about getting the insides right, the flooring, the, elect the electrics being put in, the wife, I thought they take as much care over that as everything else. I mean you can see it's, 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 it's absolutely top quality. It's answered so many questions for us. I mean like I say now I work from there, I don't get disturbed when my daughter's at home or my wife's at home. I actually prefer to spend the evening there than in my current lounge which is 
mad really. Um, you, it gives us another aspect on the garden, the dog loves it. We all look down through these double doors. Um, it's, it's a huge emotional asset, it's answered the needs we had perfectly. And interestingly I'm getting the house revalued because of it. And I did talk to estate agents before this was done and they said if it's done well, uh, it's very likely you'll, you'll cover your costs uh, and I think that's going to be the case. We've got a, a small partition in the middle, you've got an office area which you can use and you've got a, bit, a lounge, a bit of TV room, that's how we use it at the moment. And interestingly, a lot of people have said you could use it as a gym and since I do quite a bit of um, work in that field, that, 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 that could be another, another way of using it. They are amazingly enthusiastic, they are very good on attention detail and they have everything covered. They have the expertise um, to do engineering work, to do building work. Uh, I, I really wouldn't, if I had anything else to do again, I, I wouldn't go out to tender again, I would just go straight to them.